Let's make some calls back to people, honey. Oh, thank you. Hey guys, thank you for the member heart. We're doing hollowbacks outside today in my backyard because I wanted to go outside. And my peony is back there. Do you say peony or peony? Look at how big that thing is. It's going to bloom and it's going to be so pretty this year. I'm trying to find my phone number to my phone. Because um, I didn't bring it out here and I don't want to go back inside. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Britt. It is so pretty outside today. I had to go outside. I'm going to go shopping for some plants later on. But let's get going on hollowbacks. Um, I'm going to look up my phone number because I don't know it. But I can look it up. I just want to play around with some new voices today. I don't know if any of them are going to be any good. But you don't know it until you try it. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I don't know how you prefer to say it. Um, device. Device information. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Hey, Robin. Oh, thank you for the corgi butt, Robin. Thank you for the corgi ass. As Sue would say. <clears throat> All right. Let's call my voicemail and see what we got. I know I have 14 unread voicemails, so I know we got something good in there. And you'll be muted whenever they say the number, just FYI. Your mailbox is full. Please delete new or stored messages which you no longer need so that new messages may be received. You have 20 new voice messages. Dang. First voice message. Message marked urgent. Sent yesterday. Okay. Too, but anyway, I just wanted to tell you good night. I didn't want to go to bed without saying my good night to you. I'll call you bright and early just to say good morning. Talk to you later. Love she didn't you. leave me her Bye. number. <laughs> End of message. To erase this message. I bet that's what all my voicemails are. Just to say good morning. Talk to you later. Love you. Message erased. Next message. Sent Saturday, April 6th at 7.15 p.m. From phone number. Hey, hey, Sue. Call me back. End of message. Okay. We'll call her back. I don't know who she is. It sounded like that last woman, didn't it? Or no. This is my backyard. Isn't it so pretty out here? I have the best backyard. Um, we just bought this house a couple of years ago, and they had set up the backyard so nice.
and I spent a lot of time out here and I just didn't want to stay inside in my streaming room because it's dark and the window is like closed up because it it's not good to have light in there. Thank you, Silas. Um, so I just wanted to be outside. And so I hope y'all don't mind. All right, let's call this woman back. Tennessee, honey. Go volunteers. This answering machine. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, honey. Um, it's Sue. You told me to call you back, and I did, and you didn't answer. So I don't know what you want me to do with that. Just call me back when you can. Um, I do want to use other voices, but I feel like whenever they specifically say, I don't know, we're going to fill it out. We're going to fill it out. Um, I use a flip phone so that it's not traceable. Thank you, Robin. Um, oh, who sent me the hat? Thank you, Silas. Um, I use this flip phone so that they can't like find out where I live or anything. Like it has like a fake address and, um, a fake name. It says like some man's name when caller ID pops up. And so when people are like, oh, I reported you to the police, which, big whoop, um, what are they going to do about it? Because uh, I'm not harassing anybody. I only call three times. They're going to get this, and they cannot, you cannot track my location with this phone. It is, it is impossible. It cannot be traced. It is a trap phone. That is why a lot of uh, D-U-R-G dealers use flip phones or have a separate phone from their main phone anyway that are your password thank you tammy thank you david you have 18 new voice messages first voice message This is Sue Dillon. Don't you be calling my phone acting like you're fucking Sue Dillon. You don't know what the fuck you're oh talking gosh, about. Oh, gosh, he talks. A lot of cuss words there. Phone. Okay. A lot of cuss words. We don't like it. We don't drop the F-bomb. So that is definitely not Sue Dillon. Random message. Random message. Message Someone called me from this number and was using the F word. Huh? Someone called me from this number and left me a message using the F word. Who is this? My name is April. Is this it, Sue? No. Huh. Okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. I just was a little bit, like, I was honestly taking a shit. And I didn't know who the hell had the audacity to call my phone pretending to be me. You're funny. No, listen. My sister, somebody paid to for you to leave her a voicemail. And we were cracking up. And I have a best friend. He sat, He can do your impression, like, so well. It was pretty so good. We, it was pretty good. Yeah, we. I'm actually on my way to my sister's right now. Uh. But yeah, he can do it so well, and uh, so I merged our calls. Well, I called you from my phone, and then we merged the calls, and then I had him leave you a voicemail, and we recorded him leaving you a voicemail, 
What a nice man. Tell him it's it's a good impression, but Sue don't drop the F bomb. Okay. But anyway, honey, have a blessed day. You too. You too. Bye. Bye. That was wholesome, wasn't it? Sue, don't cuss. I don't know if that's not, I don't think that's true, but she doesn't say some words. She says most words, but some are just forbidden. Like the F word. My mom watches this. I can't say the F word. She would wash my mouth out with soap. And I'm about to turn 27 years old, and I still have the fear of God from that woman put into my soul. So. Okay, let's call the voicemail again. Please enter your password and press pass. You have 17 new voice messages. The dogs are eating grass and I know they're going to throw up inside. Saturday, April 6th. call her back. I want to know what I said and if I almost, like, how we almost pranked her. Let's call her. It's always fun to hear the stories about, like, how they believed it. Until they didn't. Thank you, Pitbull. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello, this is Sue. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello, this is Sue Dillon. Sue who? Dillon. Hi. Hi, honey. Um, you know you're on my live show right now, and we all want to know what I said in the voicemail and if it actually pranked you. You? Yes. Barbecue. Sorry, I'm having a best friend day with my friend. Oh, that so sounds lovely. Did this, by the way. Um, I finally figured it out. Um, what did you say? Do you want me to tell you? I'm yeah. sorry. I'm gonna quit chewing. This is so rude. And I don't care, listen. honey. I burp and fart on camera. Okay, well, I got a chicken wing up in my mouth. <laughs> um, what did you say? I think it's still in my voicemail, and it is hysterical. And the funny thing is, is uh, it was 100% real. There yeah. you are. You said, oh, the second one says trying to get in touch with you, honey. You left an odd voicemail on my phone. Something about it's not being saved, but that's an iPhone. It doesn't always save stuff. Hold up. Um, hi, Mickey. Here we go. It's Sue from way back in the day. It's good to know that you're thinking of me and you were, so this is the iPhone thing. I think it's supposed to say, we used to be lovers, but it says something about being a general lover, but this is, again, a voicemail that I'm reading, not listening. I still think about you. 
I was wondering if you're still in the Knoxville area because I like something about saving a horse and riding a cowgirl. <laughs> you get my drift. Yeah, I've been actually really thinking about you. I still have a love package. It's vintage that you kissed. Let's do that again sometime. And I'm like, who in the hell? Sue? Because I actually have a friend named Sue. And I'm like, well, I've not seen her since, like, 1996 at the Olympics in Atlanta. And I'm like, what vintage shit does she have on me? Vintage so love like, package. It's so funny because, oh, my gosh, I've never seen you on TikTok. My friend did. And she set all this up. None of them confessed, by the way. I hope you know this. None of them. Not one bitch confessed. I but love that. Know, I had my phone number since there were bad phones in cars and a pager. How old are you, you know, Annie? How old I'm, are you? I'm 53. You sound so young. Not that 53 and is old. says that when I even, when AT&T shut down recently on the phone and I called, the lady kept going, um, can I speak to your dad? Because our account is Dawn Wood and Michael. My dad is like 78. And this lady, if she had one more time said, um, can I speak to your father? I was like, okay, hold on. And I'm kind of like you. And I don't even sound good. I went, hello? And she was like, yeah. I was like, this is Mike. And she goes, okay, Mike, it's good to hear. I'm like, yes, ma'am. Can you just let my daughter get this over with? She's like, yeah. And I'm like pulling off some stupid voice that a normal human being would know was fake. And she was like, okay, that's good. Thank you for holding. And comes back. And I'm like, okay, okay, now can we fix this? And she's like, yeah. But she thought I was a kid too, so I'm used to that. But yes, I'm 53. You did get me. You did. I just wish. I don't even know what I would have said to you. Well. I really don't. <laughs> we're so glad that we got you good, honey. I know. I even love the voicemail. I, even though I didn't know who you were, I told my friends, I was like, some lady named Sue, and I don't know what I did with her in the Olympics back then, but this is serious. Like, she's got some vintage package of mine. That is fucked up. And they're all laughing about it. Everybody was in on it but me. And then, oddly enough, since my friend shared your TikTok with me, she screwed herself. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you, the cat was out of the bag. So, yeah, so the next day, I see you, and I'm still not on to it yet. I'm like, oh my god, this woman's hysterical. Oh, thank she you. She be my aunt. And, like, I'm just like, hey, so I'm like, we could have been cousins. And I'm just, like, looking at it, and then, um, I went... Dude, Dylan, what? And then that's when it all came. And then that's when I called you and went, listen, I just want to let you know you don't have to call me back because I know. <laughs> well, <laughs> we love it. Why did you get booted from my live show? Um, I don't think I got booted from your live show. I thought you said you got booted. Mm -mm. Oh, that probably just meant that my Wi-Fi was out or yours was because it was buffering. And I was trying so hard to go. My friend did this to me. Oh. You're so popular. Everything was scrolling, and then I can't type worth a shit. So I'm trying to type, and I need my glasses, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> God, this doesn't look good. And I was ignored, so I didn't care. Well, I'm I sorry, was honey. Happy I was ignored. No, 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 not just you, everybody else. I was glad. And so I'm like, oh, God. But, yeah, it kept booting, but I don't have really good Wi-Fi. Where I'm at. I live in the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. Well, you. Literally on 50 acres. That's lovely. But I love your show, and I'm so happy that I. Jimmy got pranked by you because you got me, but I would have loved to have got to talk to you. This would have been fun. I would have probably talked to you for hours. I'm sure you would have, honey, but <laughs> I'll let you get back to your barbecue and you have a nice day, honey. Thank you. I hope you and everybody have a really good day. Bye, sweet pea. Bye. She was nice. Thank you for the dancing bear. I'm really excited because I am going to, I'm really excited because on Tuesday I have a collab and I can't tell you who with, but I have a collab and it's out of the world, out of this world. When you see it, you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't wait. Password. No, it's not Jared Leto. He won't respond to me. He knows that I am his long lost daughter. For real. You have 16 new voice messages. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is Greg Smith, and I missed a call from this number. You can call me back at 810. Okay. Some old man. Um... I don't know when it's actually going to air, but we're filming it on Tuesday. And that's all I can say. I've already, I will say I've already collabed with Doc Compton um, on live. And it was so fun. We did prank calls with Alex Byron. Hey, Greg, it's Sue. I, I just got your voicemail. Yes, I'm just returning the call. I know we've been playing phone tag, so I'm happy to finally get in touch with you. Well, I'm glad to talk to you, too, because I don't see how you could tell if it was my dogs or not my dogs, so... Well, I, I, I see them scamper back understand. on. I see them scamper back on to your house, and that's how I know. Well, here, here's, here's the thing, Sue, and I, I think I know where you live. I don't Here's think you thing. know where I live. The, the old lady's mind lately has been like my driving. Just buckle up because you don't know what's going to happen. And I can tell you that the neighbor through the back says he's got her on his trail cam watering his strawberries. So I'm not sure it's my dogs. It, it could belong to me. I'm not sure it's my dogs. I'm just trying to place the blame where the blame belongs. I don't know what the hell strawberries has to do with it. You're really, you've lost me there. If, if you if you want to sack it up for me, I'll come and get it. I'm not now, sacking I'm, it up. I'm, I ain't I'm sacking up the shit. It, I ain't sacking up the shit. Did you mean the dogs were pissing on the strawberries? No, I meant the old lady's getting out of the house. I, you know, I, I told you and you weren't listening. Her mind's like my drive, and every day I just got to buckle up because I don't know what's going to happen. And the neighbor's got her, he says, on the trail cam, watering his strawberries. So I'm just trying to oh. the blame where the blame belongs. It ain't from I'm that sure old it's woman. Just... It's from your dog's asshole. I don't think it is. It is. I don't think it is. I just want to place blame where, where, where it belongs. Me uh, too, honey, and I... that's on your lap. <laughs> well, Sue, I'll tell you what. If you want to sack it up. and you I ain't it, sacking up the shit. Way, but I ain't going to come down there and sack it up because it sounds to me like you don't know where it's coming from. I know it's where it's coming mine. from. I don't know if it's coming from my dogs or not. It is. It is. I've seen them I've opened their assholes up in my yard and scamper on back either, to your house. It's either the dogs or the old lady one. I'm sorry. It ain't the old lady. One. So you, you have a nice day. You too, sweet pea. I ain't sacking up the shit. I have a bad hip. Your ass can come down here and sack it up. Uh, you wait on me. I'll be there. Right. That was really confusing at first for me. The strawberries. Thank you for buying your member hearts. And thank you, Beef and Cheddar. You have 15 messages. First voice message sent Sunday, April 7th. Thank you, Aaron. That was the same guy. I'm not calling him again. Um, hi, this message is for Sue Dillon. Yeah, um, I received your message about the Labradoodle. Um, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. 
about there's a lot of dogs in this community, lots of Labradoodles, so it's probably not mine. And, um, yeah, this is a free country, so, yeah, so. End of message. I'm going to try a new voice. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Two, three. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Yes, I got a voicemail from this phone number and I was very offended by it. I don't know what you're talking about. And if you call my phone again, I'm going to call the law on you because it ain't a free country, honey. You'll be behind bars if you keep bothering my phone. I picture her wearing like a perm, like a very white perm. It kind of sounds like that woman with the big boobs and she's like, the 4th of July. What does she say? But it's more Southern. What is her name? Jennifer Coolidge, yes. That's it. It's a little bit giving Jennifer Coolidge, but it's different, right? Is it different enough than Jennifer? It's like kind of, I don't know. Let's try it again. Let's try to incorporate that again. Reminds me. I can't do it now. Reminds me of the 4th of July. Okay. I need to watch Mean Girls. Isn't she on Mean Girls? I haven't watched Mean Girls in like 10 years. Legally Blonde, that's what it is, and you just told me that. She is on, I thought she was on Mean Girls. I need to watch Mean Girls. Like, I'm out of touch with Mean Girls at this point. It's been way too long. Watch with Mean Girls at this point. It's been way too long. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I need to watch all of those movies. I haven't seen any of those movies in so long. Please enter your password. You have 13 new voice messages. First voice message. Hugsy's mama. And I swear to you, I cannot find you in this neighborhood anywhere because I've looked. But I'm telling you, most of you don't craft in other people's yards. I'm just calling to find out how your root canal went. I did pray for you, and I'm still praying for you, and I hope it all went well. I'm mad with Muxy because Muxy didn't do it. But I do hope you're doing well. Bye. End of message. Okay. Let's call her. Muggsy did do it, bit. Biatch. Muggsy. I have a, I have, I want to use my, I want to use my, um, my sound. Where is it at? Muggsy did do it. <laughs> did it work? Muggsy did do it. I can't hear it, so I did it work. 
I don't have my headphones in. No, it's my... I wish I could hook my phone up. Huh? Hello, I just got your message where you were insisting that Bugsy did not shit in my yard. How did your root canal go? Um, it went fine, honey. They got out what they needed to get out, and I got a few Percocets left. I've been doing pretty good. Well, good. I did pray for you. Well, I appreciate what is that sound? Oh, which house do you live in over here in Tommy? Are you dancing right now? Dancing? Yeah. No. I hear music in the background. Oh. On my TV. Oh. Sorry. I don't care. I just was, I was wondering about it. No, I don't have any music. I mean, that's just on TV. Well... Um, I live about four houses down from you, I believe. Uh, well, listen, it is not my dog that's in your yard because he doesn't leave my yard. Ever. Bugsy's been opening his asshole in my yard, honey. No, he has not. There's no way. And four houses down there is that he doesn't go out of his yard. I don't know. I think Bugsy's living a double life and you just don't realize it. Oh, I, I know exactly what Muggs is doing. He's either in the backyard, and it's fenced in if he's in the front. And, and he, when he's in the back, I'm sitting out on the patio. When he's in the front, I'm right there with him, and he does not go out of my yard. So you got him confused with somebody else. Okay. <clears throat> How old are you? I'm just about to be 71. Why? Well, you would know. I'm I'm going through the change right now, menopause, and I just have it's terrible. Yes, sir. And I have this is really weird, but I don't know if this happened to you or if you know of this happening to other people. I have genital warts that popped up during the transition. Is that normal? Yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't have that problem, so I don't know. Okay, so... It was rough going through menopause, I can tell you that. It is rough, and then when these genital warts popped up, I don't know what to think of it. I don't know if it's menopause or what. Could be. I don't know. I guess you're going to have to ask your doctor about that one, because I don't know. You know I hate going to the doctor. <laughs> I don't blame you. But I... I have to the doctor for that kind of stuff in years. Yeah, but if you insist that Muggsy ain't shooting in my yard, I will change my vendetta against him, and I will move on. Well, I hope so, because I I can promise you, I take care of my dog, and he stays with me. He, he does not roam. Okay, he's not a roamer. Uh-uh. He's right here with me. Well, if you ever catch wind of who's letting their dog out and shitting anywhere they want to, just give me a call. Well, I will, honey, but why don't you come down and visit one day? I might come say hello. I just, you never know what people are like in, in person, and, you know, I just don't want to mess with people unless, you yeah. know, I get the invite. Well, I'm very much a loner, and I stay right here by myself. I'm a widow, and I'm pretty much all the way home. Uh, all, all the way home. Always home. Okay. Uh, I don't go out much at all. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you get the feeling better and that root canal all does good. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. All right. I wish I lived close so that I could go visit her, but I don't know where she lives. She was so nice. I couldn't I couldn't keep going.
I had to I had to let the Muggsy thing go. That would be so cool to be her pen pal. Um if you are the person that ordered that call and there is a way that we could make some kind of pen pal situation happen, but I don't know. I don't know. It's risky, but just email me if that was her and you know her. You order the call and we will try to make something happen for her because that sounds so lonely. But I can't like leak her address to everybody because people are crazy and they'd probably send her like D-I-L-D-O's and shit like that. Um, so I can't say that I wouldn't be tempted to either. So I'm not judging. Maybe we can figure something out. <laughs> I don't, that's a spam call. Yes, we're doing hollowbacks right now. Yes, I'm doing calls tonight as well. I have like 30 prank call with video orders to do. I am not sold out for next week though. I have only like booked three or four calls for next week. So if you want to get on the roster for Tuesday, go ahead and order a call with a video. Frankie, stop. I am not a birthday clown, honey. Your call has been forwarded to voice. You thought it was real. Bless your heart. <laughs> Quit barking. It's okay. We don't have to bark at everything. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hey, honey, it's Sue. Um, I'm just returning your call. I got your number from Daryl. But if you could just call me back, I would greatly appreciate that. We've almost met our rose goal, and we also 
have 5.2 member hearts, 5.2 thousand member hearts. If you don't care to buy your member heart in here, it really helps me. Um, somehow, I don't really understand it fully, <laughs> but I think it like pushes my stuff out more to, to the algorithm. So if you are here, it's a very cheap way to help my content out. And I appreciate all of the love. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Brown E. Thank you, Care Bear. Enter your password. Okay. You have 10 new voice messages. First voice message sent yesterday, Friday. Yeah, my dome is beautiful, and I'm going to rub your face in the shit. So give me a call back so we can go do that. Bye. End of message. Okay. Did you hear him at the end? Did you hear him at the end? He was like, Did it work? Let's call him back. You want to call him back? Daddy's going to call him back. I received a very disturbing voicemail from this number. Sorry, what? I just said I received a very disturbing voicemail from this number. Oh, this is Ashley, the one you left the voicemail for about the Doberman Pinscher. I did not. <laughs> We're going to play that game. Okay. I called back on a different number. I don't know what's going on, but some man told me to that he was going to shove my face in shit. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, I'm just really confused why you would call my phone with a hate crime threat like that. I don't know what I did to you. I don't know what voicemail you're talking about. Somebody paid you seventy dollars to call and leave a voicemail. That's not true. On TikTok. That's not true. I don't know what you're talking about right now. You're speaking a foreign language. Okay, because it was your voice on the voicemail. My voice. Yes. This voice on the voicemail. Yes. yes. No. It wasn't me. I've never heard of y'all okay. in my whole life. Well. You might have called by accident then or butt dialed or something. I never called anybody about a Doberman. I don't know what... Y'all don't even live in the same area as me. No, you live in Tennessee. How do you know where I live? Because it comes We across. have caller ID. Yeah. When it, your number comes across, it okay. shows us the area. Yeah, it's okay. Or well, I don't well, know who you I are. This number is because this number that I, your this number called my phone. I did and left the voicemail. I did not call you from this number. Do I need to play the voicemail? Yeah, I have it on me. Please, because I don't believe you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play that son of a bitch. Sorry, I'm on the phone. Oh, let me see. One second. I'm going to play it for you. Okay, here it is. Um, your diaper is in. You didn't my daughter when you're walking in 
That is not me. Like, that sounds nothing like me. Ask her about the video. We have a video on TikTok of you leaving the voicemail. It's the same exact number. I don't, it's not me. I don't have a TikTok. I don't even, I have no social media. I don't, I don't believe in social media, actually. But I just was calling because I was very disturbed by the voicemail because you were threatening to shove my face in shit. I just didn't know if I should call the police or what. Well, maybe I should call the police because uh, I don't know how you got my number or what, but... Um, I was just returning your voicemail, so I don't... And I was returning yours. I told you I didn't call you from this number. Well, then someone broke into your house and called from your number then, or you dropped your phone somewhere. That doesn't make any sense. And there's a video on TikTok. I have... And if it's that lady that we're talking to that's on that video, because it sounds like it her is. voice... Lady, right? Yeah, I have. How do I sound someone, like her? I have video evidence that there was a call made to this number with my name coming out someone's mouth. Yeah. My full name coming out someone's Actually, mouth. We saw the video of that lady calling and leaving you the voicemail. Yeah, we, we saw started. you. We saw whoever this number was leaving the voicemail. Okay, honey, I'm just messing with you. It was me, but uh, have a blessed day. It was just a prank. Oh, I know it was you. <laughs> Bye. Bless your heart. Bye, honey. <laughs> that is so fun. Okay. What is... I'm going to save that because I think that's... That was funny. Okay. Do I, do I really sound like Sue? They were like, you sound like her. I guess I have a similar pitch, but I don't sound like Sue. Please enter your password, then press pound. You have nine new voice messages. First Thank voice you, message. Mo. Yesterday, Friday, no, April okay. 12th, Thank you, Jules. Thank you, JoJo. Are you a man or are you a woman? Oh my goodness. I could smell your ass. Or is y'all the drugs? I know who you are. And by the way, Tennessee's not all that far from here. And uh, Cody ratted you out. Oh, man. And, uh, let's see. All the drugs, oh, all the prostitution. Well, I am a lot wizard. I feel good with yourself. I do. I'm gonna get you. End of okay. Message. We are doing voicemails right now. How's the hepatitis? How's the AIDS? Wait a minute. How's the herpes? Stop. <laughs> but whatever else she leaves, we're just not gonna. We're just gonna delete it right off the bat because I know her voice now. So I'm sorry if that offended anybody. It offended me, and I don't like it. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, let's call. Please enter your password. You have four. First voice message sent yesterday, Friday, April 12th at 6.32 p.m. Duration, 16 seconds. Yeah, I'm spiky. Give me a call. Message erased. I didn't leave a Message number. Message. I think it was the same woman. Sent. Thank you, Yesterday, Paige. Friday, April 12th at 6.36 p.m. Hi, 
Uh, honey, how's that drag? Well, dragged itself all the way to hell, because by the time I'm done to you, you're going to need some help. Message erased. This is why my voicemail box is full. Yesterday, Friday, April 12th at 9.50 p.m. from 419. Message erased. Next message. Sent today, Saturday, April 13th at 7.26. Thank you, Erin. Duration, 20 seconds. Well, hello, you ugly... Okay, let's just block her. I have her number here, so I'm just going to find it and block it. Uh. Okay, we blocked that biatch. We just blocked that. Anyway. That. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Chase. Thank you, Eric. Let's look at my messages and then we're done. Does he have any medical? What? Oh, this is the recruiting. Um, the recruiting for the National Guard for Bobby Joe. I called on Bobby Joe's behalf, Sue did. And so they said, I appreciate the call, ma'am. What was Bobby Joe's last name? Does he have any medical conditions? I'll say Dylan is his last name. His last name and he does have genital warts okay and that is what we said Hi, Sue. This is Shannon Backus. You inquired about placenta encapsulation for your planter warts. Unfortunately, that's not a recommended use for placenta capsules, so I won't be able to provide the service to you. Best of luck trying to get those warts taken care of. I didn't want capsules. I wanted whole placentas. That's what I'm going to say. Capsules. I want the whole placenta and it does work. Work. I I read it <sighs> Oh my god, my leg. <laughs> um Someone, I was telling them that my dog, sh their dog shot in my yard, and they were like, send me your address, and then I sent them Susan's Christ. I don't know if you can see that. Susan's Christ. And they said, that, that's not dog waste. Please only text me with work-related issues. Oh, that was the guy that was like, um, that does dog shit pick up for his living. Like he goes to places and picks up the dog poop. Okay.
Ugh. This one person called me a slur, so I'm not going to go. Or message them back. Nope, that's a spam text. <laughs> Someone sent a cry laughing emoji to Susan's Christ. That was probably another send me something. Someone said, you got me. This is from a 985 area code. I'm not sure who it is, but they said, you got me. Don't think I have ever been got that good in my life. That's awesome. That's customer service from Street Talk. Good one. Love your TikTok channel. Well, shit. Who the F is this? This is Sue Dillon. Um, this is a 260 area code. Do you have a placenta in your profession? Possession. No, I have no placenta in my possession. Don't. That's why I I hate texting on this thing called you. She is a midwife, so she has access to placentas. Well, Sue, next time you have a problem with my dog shitting in your yard is my mother's number. Okay. Don't forget to call me back, Sue Dillon. Let's call him back. I don't know why we're calling him back. but It's a 512 area code. Ryan with Sutterly Homes. I am not available at the moment. Please leave a detailed message, and I will return your call as soon as possible. Please do note that my weekly days off are every Thursday and Friday. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, baby, it's me. I'm just returning your call if you can call me back. Bye. Thanks for making my day more interesting. Really hilarious that prank calls still happen, and what are the chances that I actually clean up old people's yards? Well played, sir or ma'am, madam. Don't want to assume your genders. Thanks for making my day more interesting. Okay. Funny, Sue. Bag that shit up and put it in there. Got it? Thanks. And that is it. Um, so wait, I think that the placenta woman messaged me back. Let me see. Uh, I don't provide spare placenta, Sue. Could we do it under the rug? Do it just under the rug please this is my last resort so for y'all that just joined there's a woman a midwife this is exposed to lots of placentas from births. And Sue wants placentas because she read on Facebook that her planner's warts for her whole family, her whole family is ridden with planner's warts right now. She read on Facebook that placentas eating them raw and whole can cure planner's warts. So she's reached out to this midwife to try to get placentas, but the midwife is not having it. She, she offered to send capsules, but... I have to provide a placenta. And I said, no, I don't want capsules. I want the whole thing. And she said, well, do you have a placenta? And I said, no. And she was like, well, we don't just give out spare placentas. And so then I said, could we just do it under the rug, please? This is my last resort. People throw them away all the time. She could just save one for me. But that was all of Hollaback's. Um, I will get on later on to do some calls, most likely. 
Um, but you can order a call for yourself in my link tree. That's where we order calls. And on Sundays, my Cameo opens up fresh. And if you've never ordered a Cameo on the Cameo app, you can get a discounted rate because all of my call options are pretty expensive. You can also subscribe to me and you'll get a free call. It'll be done in the next few days. Um, or next few weeks. It's on a Sunday when you subscribe. You get a free call on Sundays with Sue, which is at 6 p.m. Central. You go first. But my Sundays with Sue's are booked out for the next couple of weeks. Um, so I don't know exactly what time I'm going to get on. It's probably going to be 4.30 to 5. Thank you, Megan. I always do hollabacks out of Sue because out of my Sue character because it gives me some like leeway to do other things and be more creative with my pranks. So that is why Sue isn't here. She comes out, but I'm not in full Sue uniform because I like to change it up. Um, and I think I did get to change it up some today and it felt really good. And it's like a free space for me to just like try new things because I do want to branch out. Sue is not going anywhere ever, but I'm a creative person and I always like to make up new crap. So thank you for giving me the space to do that. And I will see you later on. I do not have a spiritual account. That is someone that's pretending to be, to be me. I don't do readings. So I will talk to you later.